right then guys Lambretta vlog time Yes, it's been absolutely ages this time since the last one I say this every time I know but this time it has really been a long time uh, I'm not going to go into why but uh, I've had a lot going on and I haven't been vibing with it I've still been riding scooter but just not feeling like riding round going Alright guys, I'm ready a long time But wanted to, uh, you know, stay in touch as it were so Ooh, Gravelly Scooter's going alright for now Well that's probably Kiss to Death saying that um, I, I haven't been without problems though, recently I've had all kinds of issues I can't remember if I told you about it on the last one or when I even did the last one to be honest but I'd, uh, I'd stripped a tooth off third gear uh, which I might have told you on the last one there's up here might have told you about off, uh, on the last one I can't remember if I did or not sorry but anyway um, there's a little bit of footage of that so that's what this sounds like for anybody who hasn't seen it So uh, that's a sign that you've, well, the sign that uh, you could have possibly stripped a tooth off uh, one of your gears like I did on the pacemaker box. So anyway, on the pacemaker box, I run 1847, uh, you know, sprockets, the final drive sort of thing. Well, not final drive, I think the final drive came in at about, uh, about 4.44, which is not ideal. Uh, no, no, hang on, right. On the pacemaker. <laughs> you better off not listening to what I say about gearing and stuff, you're really not. But anyway, I'm still going to leave it in. So, on the pacemaker, on 1847, I cannot remember what the final drive was, but I think it might have been about 4.7 ish, 4.8, I'm not sure. So, anyway, I'd bust that gear. So, Brookie, my mate, had a, a 150, just a span, uh, an Italian 150 gearbox. Not a, spe not a special like pacemaker gearbox, but just a standard one. Uh, which is what he were running anyway, so um, he said that should run uh, bang on, so we put that in. Now when I did it, John at Wakey School has told me quite rightly, he goes he'll probably t tow his bag out trying to pull your gear in, but I didn't listen, as you don't, so I just put gearbox in, put the new gearbox in uh, and rode it, but in fourth gear it just wouldn't pull you at all, it was great in third. So when you dropped it down into third you were alright. Um, but obviously it wasn't going to do because if you end up any kind of hill or into the wind for instance you had no chance so what I did was I just went all the way down rather than messing about going to a 17 and stuff like that I went straight down to a 16 on the front and now it pulls great although having said that there was a cop car behind me a minute ago so I can't really show you oh, and there's a speed up here so that's not ideal but now it just pulls great, so it's just great, it's just really rideable, so it's close to now. With the 1647, it's close to being what it will like. So I'm happy with it. Second. Third. Fourth. Into the bend, but we might have a cop, uh, you know, speed camera, so we'll chill it out, but... You know, it's, uh, it's a nice ride. So that's what I've been doing with the gearbox. For those who didn't know, in other news, I had um, a problem with the TSR exhaust. I had a crack in the uh, exhaust where the last bit of sort of pipe goes before the uh, end can. But I've got a bit of footage of that, so I'll show you that here. So I've got the exhaust in for welding, so hopefully he's going to do a nice tidy job, but it's a really good welder who's doing it, so I'm confident. So that should be uh, back anytime soon, but as you might already know, my dad's GP, which isn't currently on the road, whoa, has the exact same exhaust, so I just took that one off. But when I get it back, after cleaning it up to get it fitted and stuff, uh, I'm going to have to look at making some kind of bracket. John at Wakey Scooters has got a TSR Evo as well and he made his own bracket just by getting uh, like a silencer um, like an end can support thing off uh, just online 
and just making his own little armature thing. They do, they did used to do a bracketed uh, TSR, but I think they changed it. Um, and I'm not sure if I've still got it. If I've got it, I'll show you on another vid because I'm not okay. I won't be able to put my hands on that today. It'll be in a shed or carriage somewhere. So. Here we go, down through Aubrey. Oh yeah, since doing all this, it's made a, started making a bit of a weird noise, like a bit of a mad whirring noise. It sounds a bit like an overcraft, but not like in an air leaky way, I'm pleased to say, because I've uh, been around everything, talked it all up, checked it all. So I don't really know what's going on, but it's gonna have to be checked out. I don't want to put a new chain in, because when I put that smaller front sprocket in, I had to put a smaller chain in, but the chain I put in was not as good as the one that I had in before. I had a uh, Iwis 1 or Iwis or whatever you call it, IWIS 1, but then I had to swap it back to an old uh, Regina 1 and it wore a quite an old, <laughs> not old old, but it wasn't new like the bloody Iwis one. So anyway, lastly I did, uh, I put, I did, put a uh, bit of a light in the horn cast, which I should have a bit of footage of here. I hope I've got these bits of footage, it'll be a good little vid this, hopefully, and if I aren't, sorry if I've got your hopes up. So, uh, so yes, there's a little bit of uh, footage of my light, it's attached to the horn loop, so Graham, Graham there. Um, attached to uh, the horn circuit, so when you press the horn, it does the light, which isn't ideal, as I found out. Yeah, I found out the hard way that uh, attaching it to the horn wasn't the best idea. Because on the day that I fit it, I'd arranged to meet one of my mates and it was sort of, uh, I said I'll meet you at Sidert Road, down road there, uh, on the bypass, right. So he's waiting at this bus stop, but well, I'm flying along, there's two junctions in front of us quite near this bus stop with cars there and that. So I'm, uh, I'm there flashing the, the light and beeping the horn to show my mate. Because uh, I told him like I'd fitted it, so I was waiting till you see this. So I'm beeping it like hell and bloody cars all started <laughs> pulling out of the junctions because they obviously thought I were flashing them. So that were sketchy. I don't like showing stuff like this, but like an absolute knob. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, what I'm going to have to do is attach it to the, uh, just onto the headlight, onto the ignition. So then when I turn the light on, then the light's on all the time. Because I put a battery on as well, should, uh, I forgot to say. To, uh, you know, to, to power the LEDs that I put in the horn casting, so. It's all working quite well, apart from uh, the obvious hazard that I've created for myself. I'm calling it shopping with some cans. Then I'm going out. Uh, I think that'll probably about it. Yeah, Brookie's coming down later, but not for about five hours. So I'm going to go home and uh, sort out the. Uh, I've got a new. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Sorry. I've got a new. Uh, well, not a new. A new used right hand footboard because mine were all split. And it had been welded, but it was that thin that it all sort of gone through when I got it blasted. So I've got a bit of a better one, so I'm going to go and. Uh, Give that a bit of a sand, I think. It's not real like riding it without all panels, and it looks a bit looks a bit ratty, and it already doesn't look great. This scooter, it's been to the moon and back, as we know. So, so anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and all of that. Thanks for watching, see you later.